Having come onto the earth, God keeps His silence. No matter how cruel people become, God does not take it too hard, but only keeps doing the work He needs to do. So as to fulfill the greater commission that the Heavenly Father entrusted to Him. Who among you has recognized God's loveliness? Who shows more consideration for the burden of God the Father than does His Son? Who is able to understand? The will of God the Father Who is able to understand The will of God the Father The Spirit of God the Father in heaven Is often troubled and His Son on earth prays constantly for God the Father's will Worrying His heart to pieces Who knows of the love of God the Father for His Son? Who knows the heart with which the Beloved Son misses God the Father? Torn between heaven and earth The two are constantly Gazing after each other from afar Following one another in spirit All mankind When will you be considerate of God's heart? When will you understand God's intention? Understand God's intention Father and Son are dependent on each other Widen your separation between heaven and earth The Father loves His Son as the Son loves His Father Why must the Father wait? With such deep and painful longing for the Son They may not have been separated for long Yet who knows how many days and nights The Father has been yearning with painful longing And how long He has been pining for His beloved Son's quick return Observes, he sits in quietude and he waits. There is nothing he does that's not for the sake of his beloved son's quick return. The son who has wandered to the ends of the earth, when will they be reunited? Even the ones reunited They will be together for eternity How could he endure being separated For thousands of days and nights Between heaven and earth On earth God experiences The worldly hardships of humans God is innocent God is innocent So why should He be made to endure The same suffering as man? Who can understand God's heart? Who can understand God's heart? God gives man to much God gives man to much how can man adequately repay God's heart? How 
can man adequately repay God's heart.